Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters. Today our Lord invites us to have the virtues of detachment from the worldly honors and powers and especially on the worldly riches. Our Lord gives us today two examples for the greedy, covetous obsession for power and honor were given example of scribes and Pharisees. The scribes and elders of the community of Jewish had a kind of obsession for honor from the people. To claim these honors and power they wore a long rope, prayed very long time, showed to the people that they were the perfect and pure beings. So by their showiness, they were claiming for respect in public places, marketplaces and the synagogue. But inside of this, inside of their hearts, they were full of corruption and evil. Jesus could not tolerate this double-tongued, double, double way of life people. So showing these evil examples, Jesus said that we should never, especially the disciples of Christ and the Christian community should never imitate these people characters of chauvinism. Then comes the second example, attachment and detachment from the worldly things. He had showed a positive example there was a widow who was offering a coin in the offertory box. As Jesus was sitting over there, he was watching everyone pouring lot of money, especially the rich people, they pour lot of money over the offertory box. But this poor widow who was considered to be a poor in the Jewish community, in the Jewish religion, she came and offered a coin. As Lord who was able to ascertain and feel the minds of the people, he said to the disciples that this woman had put lot of things than compared to everyone who, given, who had given the offer. So they were astonished, how was that? And Jesus explained, this woman had given all the things she had in her life in this offer tree. And she was now dependent on God's promise. She had put everything she had detached herself from all the worldly things. Now, she is dependent on God. The Yahweh, poor of Yahweh, will give them mercy and protection so that she may live her life. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, it is natural that we are attracted towards these worldly things, worldly riches, 
But our Lord invites us to use these mammon, the worldly riches, so that we may serve God better, we may be loyal to God, loyal to His friendship, relationship. So we must make friends with these worldly things, detached from worldly things and being attached to God. This is the invitation today the Lord gives us. So let us in a special way thank the Lord for this gift. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the greatest gift of Christ Jesus, who leads us today towards the growth. Many a time, we are obsessed with money, power, and worldly honor, Lord. Give us the grace to use all these things for the building of the kingdom of God. For the building of the kingdom of God in this world and the world to come. Help us to realize the leadership of Christianity is not lording over the other, but servanthood. Help us to realize this so that we may be detached from obsession of honor, power and worldly riches and be loyal to Christ Jesus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.